With the leadership crisis currently rocking the Enugu chapter of the All Progressives Congress, APC, and the protracted litigations that have followed, are they really in reckoning for the forthcoming local government elections in Enugu State? Do they have candidates? Well, we will have this conversation tonight on the Eastern Eye because currently I'm joined by members of the APC here in Enugu State. This is the Eastern Eye. I am Alex Obodo. Welcome to the Eastern Eye here on Afia TV. It's a program that aids raise the political, social, and economic developments around us. Tonight I'm joined on the program this uh, Friday by the Enugu State uh, Chairman, the acting chairman of the APC, is, uh, goes by the name Alphonsus Wafo. Uh, thank you so much for coming. Also in the studio tonight is uh, Comrade Ken, a former. He's the Southeast Bureau Chief of New Telegraph newspaper. And of course, he is the special advisor to the special advisor media to Ugo Chupu Abala, who also, uh, they say it was or is, the <laughs> chairman of the APC. There are obviously two factions now. So we'll be thrashing this and find out exactly what the situation is and whether the APC is in reckoning for the local government elections, which will now happen on the 21st of September instead of 5th of October, as earlier announced by NSEAC. So, gentlemen, thank you for joining me on the Eastern Eye tonight. <coughs> Let me start this conversation with you, uh, Mr. Alphonsus uh, Mwafo. You, you, your name your name, you've been all over the place, that you are the acting chairman of the APC that uh, Gochukwa Bala has been suspended. So exactly what it is that happened that led to the suspension of Gochukwabala? Was there a court case? Because there are people who are possibly uh, hearing the story for the first time. Was there a court case? Did the party meet? Was there an executive meeting? Or was it a neck meeting? Exactly at, at what was it that happened in the party that led to the removal of Ugabala suspension? Whatever it is, the nomenclature used there. Okay, thank you, Mr. Alex. Um, APC Enugu chapter, heavily led before by Honorable Barrister Ugoju Kwabala, have had a lot of um, issues internally, which a lot of us then have been the kind of swallowing to see if things will work well. But um, at the peak of the events, the members of the SEC decided that enough is enough. There are many folds of reasons that led to his removal, of which I may not be able, because of the want of time, to name them one after the other. But you can name a few. A few. Mm. Some um, misappropriation of these um, party funds, um, undermining the authorities, the constituted authorities of the party executives, as well as personalizing the party as a person of business and transactional attitude with what I term Machiavellistic system of leadership. Mm. These are many more things led to his removal. Yeah, you, two things I want to pick on. You said uh, uh, misappropriation of funds yep. and personalizing of the party apparatus. Can yep. you uh, put that in perspective? Okay, sure. Uh, let, me, let me cite an example. A few weeks ago, the party got a truckload of um, rights where um, ordinarily it was meant to be shared to the members of the party. But um, looking at the organogram of the party, we have what we call the welfare personnel who are charged with the duty of sharing such things. But I can testify and I can tell you for free that um, Ugochuku Abala called one Mr. Olu and uh, a boy of his called Ikenna. Both of them were the people sharing this rights. Where goes the function of the welfare personnel? This is one example out of many. So in essence, the members of your party did not get the rights. Or is this the sharing that's the problem? The sharing actually was the problem, which means he has dislodged the um, authoritatively allocated uh, function of the welfare of the Yeah, religion. okay. Yeah. That, that, that aside, but did your members get the rights? Some get, got it. Some didn't. Oh, okay. So uh, you talked about uh, just I want just I want to situate it quickly before I go to Comrade or former the issue of uh, uh, funds mismanagement of funds. Can you 
situated? Uh, what amount are we talking about here? Actually, um, Obodo, I cannot tell you that this is the actual amount at this point. But um, he knows that, um, all of us knows that from the onset of this, Ugo Chuku Sentrant as the party chairman in Enum, I've been a member of the Sheikh under him. He has never mentioned that this sort of amount has come to the state. And this is what it's been used for. This is the balance. This is how it has been used. So there's an issue of accountability. Sure. Mm. Okay, okay. Well, let, let, let me go to Comrade Ken, a former, who is a, a media advisor to Ugo Chuku Abala. Uh, help us put this in perspective. I'm sure you, you know what's going on. So from the perspective of Ugo Chuku Abala, exactly what is going on? First of all, is to correct the wrong introduction. Okay. That uh, he's the acting chairman of APC. Barista Ugochuku Abala is and remains the chairman of APC in Enugu State. That part is indisputable. That's, that part uh, has been reiterated severally, even yesterday, by the national chairman of the party, Alahaji Umar Abdullahi. Gandhi, who wrote to Enugu State Independent Electoral Commission and described some people as unknown, faceless groups, <laughs> which my brother is one of them, who is dealing with, as against dealing with the authentic chairman so, of So why is NCEP dealing with them? That is to tell you that it's the external forces propping some group of dissidents. And he used one language misappropriation is defamatory which the state chairman will address at the appropriate time you ask him how much he couldn't mention anything you ask me again he talked about rice which is mundane things rice rice everybody got rice it's not reason about rice and uh, what are you uh, so the, you cannot gang up a group of people stay, sit in a hotel and announce well we are suspended APC is a national party and the leading party, the ruling party in, in Nigeria. We have a structure, we have a constitution. <clears throat> if you want to embark on any kind of, uh, you know, that kind of uh, folly, you, you, you are not supposed to be in the party. But there is a structured way of doing it. As we speak, because some few people say we have suspended with trouble. The national Vice Chairman Southeast, Dr. Ijo Maharo Diogu, issued a statement and said, I'm not aware of what you guys are talking about. There is no petition before me. There is no petition before the State Executive Committee of the Party. There is no investigative report. There's nothing. Just from the blues, I will have suspended. And who are you? And they wrote so many names, appended people's, forged people's signatures. And about 35 people are, that they forged their signature, they have come to swear fidelity in court, alleging that their signatures were forged. They were not, never part of any kangaroo meeting to suspend anybody. And so, it's very clear, the same, the, you know, external forces propping them, gave them leeway to obtain a temporary in, uh, order of injunction. So there was a court order, really? Yes. So that, That's why I want to explain, yes, even okay. before you go into that. In private order of injunction, that the injunction that APC is not even a party to. Oh, no. This is still the Eastern Eye here on Afia TV. Apologies uh, for that glitch. You, we encountered some challenges here. But uh, Comrade Ken of Former was making a point uh, about uh, the court injunction. Yes. So uh, you just yeah, finished I was, that I was thought. saying that um, the same external forces that instigated and paid for and sponsored all these crises. Who are these external forces? Yes, it is external forces involving the People's Democratic Party in the state. So, usually they do this thing each time that an election I had. They do, in 2019 it happened. Um, 
three years ago when they were about to conduct local government election, the same thing happened. Now, we were still in court because they disqualified all our candidates last time and fielded names of people, fielded by former chairman of the party and leaving the current chairman. So, this is exactly what they want to do now. Now, the same external forces help them to obtain an order of interim injunction, mm. an order of interim injunction, restraining Baris to Gabala, yeah. pending the determination of... The so, court did so, not, when, so when would that determination so, be done? The court did not say, let any other person take over. So when you are describing my acting, I, acting, I was just wondering how... So, so what did the court say then? What did, how did the court refer to Gabala in the, in the injunction? Because the, he's the state chairman that he should be restrained. In the, what? De determination. Restrained in what? From performing his duty. So what does that chairman. mean? If you are restricted from performing your duties, are you still chairman? If, if you are restrained from... It is, it is the last for seven days. It is an interim okay. injunction, okay. order of injunction. Is it, let me tell, explain something. Why I'm saying that the same external forces. An interim injunction is not what any judge should just issue. It's usually when during emergency to right. prevent damage or affecting the wrecks. But there was no emergency. There was no okay. urgency. So that's what I mean. Great. Okay. So you can so you have put the person on notice. Yeah, I, I understand. So it, but but, uh, to tell you that it was something that was packaged. Yeah. They contacted a, a, a vacation judge to issue that. Wow. And since he issued that, he continued to adjourn, adjourn, adjourn that. Okay. Since so there's the, adjournment. This is... Let me even say, tell you something that okay. APC was not even a party to the suit. So if you, if you want to remove. So a, who's, a party to, who's the party to the suit? It's not only individuals. APC is not a party. Even INEC is not a party. So the, the suit is very defective. Right. That the judge ought not to have even entertained in the first place. But to tell you, it's something that is packaged. All right. I, I guess at this point, it's still the court that will tell us what is appropriate at this point. Meanwhile, so, the, the, the APC has gone to appeal. All right. I mean, and so, they, so now, even though you said, all, no, even though you said that they were not a party to the suit and they want an appeal yes. on, on a case they are not a party to. Yeah, because the state chairman was mentioned. Okay, great. And other people were mentioned. All right. Okay. Uh, you know, two things uh, that are something my people say. Uh, mention the PDP. The PDP may have become Akana Ureza Urumpune. You know, those from my place will understand this. But I, and then, of course, uh, uh, the courts are now the quickest way to disrupt any system. Uh, Mr. Alfonso, what is going on now? He says you're not chairman, you're not acting chairman. But you say, well, that uh, Gabala is a former chairman. So, two sides to the story. Or do we have a third side to it? And let me ask you, before we lose sight of part of the reason why we're here, is the APC participating in the local government election? Sure. Um, Alex, really, the APC is keen and ready to participate in this forthcoming local government election. And I have to tell you this, by tomorrow, the screening will be done for those uh, candidates who will be participating in the local government election. Well, before we delve into that, I want to... Um, kind of yeah, because, you know, we don't have a lot of time. So yeah. uh, we'll, we'll use uh, one sure. to kill two the, the, the truth about it is that the APC will be participating. But before I continue on that, okay. let me make a little correction to my brother, Kenneth of Homer. My rector used to tell us that there is no need of laboring the obvious. Of Homer knows the obvious matters in this case. Or probably because of either pecunia um, gains or whatever that might be termed to that, he wants to shift the ground. But at this point, he knows that the leadership of Ugochukwabala pays no money. It's an ill wind that blows no man any good. But let's leave to that. Next time I can talk about that. But he knows the truth. But as well, so I also want to advise him that he doesn't have the legal right to describe or explain what happened in the court because he might find himself into trouble because this is a court of competent jurisdiction and he said that the APC is going to court the same APC that has not been joined in the case is going to court going to court for what reason in the first instance now coming back to the election if actually I am not the acting chairman of 
the current APC Enugu State, why was the NSEC forms for the election given to me? Then if the Ugrabala faction that he mentioned is still in power, why couldn't they have gotten that? And in one of the SEC meetings, the said Ugrabala said that he's not ready for local government elections. What now happened at 11 hour? Why did you wake up early this morning to say that you want to go for election? These are more, one of the reasons why he was booted out. At 11th hour, now you're juggling from one wing to the other that you want to go for election. Election, him was in the SEC meeting, I was in the SEC meeting, where he said that he's not ready for this local government election. Yeah, signifying, I, 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 there was a minute to that. that was of not, course, that was not, no, signifying a transactional system in what he does. So, so there are two things I see here. That's not correct. Uh, just a minute. You, uh, you have been accused of being, uh, you know, sponsored by people from the outside. And you're also accusing Ogabal of being sponsored by people from the outside. Yeah. So that is the, 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 the problem. It creates a, an interesting confusion. So whose report do we believe at this point? Uh, do we wait for the court to decide who is chairman of the Enugu State APC? Uh, first of all, uh, as it stands out, in as much as we live by the law, and the court has pronounced this, he just said that the, the injunction will last for seven days. I think um, we need legal advisors to explain more on this. So the injunction that was issued was... It's still subsisting. Okay, so it's a subsisting yeah. interpretation. It's still subsisting. So is it that no one, is, no one has a copy of this injunction? Who was of written course. there? Just, of they course. say it's a subsisting until... Alex, the if you want that, I produce is that it, Is it a perpetual injunction? I produce that for you. Mm. Hmm? Now, he's talking about PDP being, we, we are being sponsored by PDP and all whatnot. This is the same type of cry this set of men do every year, every time. When people rise up against the bad leadership, they tell me that some people are being sponsored. You can see you are in Enugu. PDP is the governor, the, the leading party in Enugu. They are busy doing their own job, doing their own conventions, preparing for election. They don't have time to sponsor anybody. And I still continue to say that I, Alfonso Soyachana Mwafo, can never be sponsored by any man or by any group for any reason. I believe in what I believe in. If I say that this is not good for me, I must say that it is not good. I need not to be sponsored by anyone. He knows. I've discussed this with him before. He's not even happy with what is happening. That's not correct. <laughs> He's right. my brother. He knows. Okay. To, you know, to, all right. Uh, okay. Let me, let just just very quickly there. because we, need, we still yes. have the uh, former chairman of the uh, All to, Progressive Grand Alliance, to, to who will come in after the break. You are asking the wrong person whether APC will take part or not. Uh, well, okay, so, so, me, so, me, so me, do you me, have a perspective on that? Let me give you a background. You know my brother here, in 2021, he contested the Congress, local government Congress, to be chairman of, of local government. I also contested to be chairman of, of the party in of local government, and I won. When the party started, 2021, we, we now said, okay, so bring everybody into the fold. I mean, those, those that failed and those that passed. We brought him and made him Zona chairman in Ugu West. Big lies. He never called Zona meeting for once. He, do, he, he doesn't even attend SEC meeting to say that Ugabala said the APC will not take part in the election. He, he, he wasn't in any SEC meeting. He was always busy. He's a businessman and a lecturer. <laughs> so, and uh, politically, he's still uh, growing. <laughs> so he doesn't understand politics. If you say that uh, opposition, uh, leading, uh, ruling party don't sponsor crisis in opposition party, then uh, uh, it's still a new fight politically. Now, let me even tell you, no, no time uh, did Gabala say that APC will not take part. What he said was that APC is observing the process of NCEC. That if the process is credible and confident, confident boosting enough that APC will take. If not, APC will even sue them to intercept the process. Mm -hmm. And APC finally uh, got into the race. But like I, I told you, the essence was that let's deny them and bring strange people and let them wear them the badge of APC. That's why he's telling you that they, they gave them form. APC led by Baristo Gochukabala, is taking part 
in the local government election. So, you, so you have your candidate. Our national chairman, in a letter he wrote to the chairman of TENSEC, warned him over interference in internal affairs of the party. It is not NSEC that will determine who is the officers of APC. Even if there was an injunction to say, stay aside, don't uh, parade yourself as chairman based on uh, pending when determination. The court did not pronounce anybody okay. chairman or acting chairman. It is not the court that we pronounce anybody acting chairman or chairman. All right. It's not the business so, of the so, court. So what I get from the two of you is that the APC will participate in the local government election. That is whether it is on faction A or faction B. The APC under the leadership of Barisu Gojibaba has already filled their candidates. Oh. So we are waiting for them to publish that list. And if it is not the candidate filled by the APC led by Barisu Gojibaba, the national chairman has already said that. Uh, they, they, will, they, will, they will take the matter to court. Just a minute because we, we need to take a break. And uh, we have to bring in uh, uh, the former chairman of APGA, Enugu State, to also talk about what's happening in his party regarding the local government election. Just say that in a minute and a half. Okay. Um, in AGF, I want to remind um, my brother Kenneth of former. Um, it, I, I would have loved you to bring Ugo Chukwabala here. <clears throat> he knows how the, he knows how the Congress started. He said, he said that they called me and they admitted me. I never called for a meeting. I've had a meeting in Neziago. I've had several meetings in Odi where he himself was also present. Ugo Chukwabala was there present. I've held meeting in Ogu. He was there as well. No, there was no meeting in Ogu. He was and there I as well in Ogu. That meeting was called. And I have, so, I have, the, I have the, the pictures. I have everything. So, so the of the and Ugo Chukwabala was with me a night, three nights, two nights before the actual convention. He knows how I participated. And go to the uh, demand for the CTC copies of the original people who are in Abuja as executives. I am number one, one of them. Zono Chiaba and Enugu West. I told you how he came. All right, okay, Ask great. Ask cannot tell me how, 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 how I emerged. How could you contest the local government? All right, you know what? No, we are accommodated him. We are accommodated him. We are accommodated him. I won. 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 I this conversation will continue. We'll have time to expand on them, but I have to thank two of you so much. Um, Mr. Alfonso Smuafo is the acting chairman of uh, APC, Enugu State. And um, thank you so much, Comrade Ken, a former. My pleasure. He's a journalist and uh, media advisor to Ugabala, who they say is the former chairman. He is, is, is the chairman. Former chairman. The former chairman. chairman and chairman, <laughs> whatever it is. See you tomorrow. The, the APC this will... This is, is, is a storm in a teacup. Of course. It will soon fizzle out. But at least you admit there is a storm. So yeah. thank you so much, gentlemen. In a teacup. When we we'll run it. Yes. When we return from the break, we'll, I will be joined by the former chairman of All Progressives Grand Alliance, Senegal State Chapter, Ndubisi Enechi Onya. Stay with us. We'll be right back. You're welcome back to the Eastern Eye here on Afia TV, a program that aches raise the political, social, and economic developments around us. My name is Alex Obodo. I'm joined now by Ndubisi Enetionya, former chairman of the All Progressives Grand Alliance, APGA, Enugu State Chapter. Thank you so much. It was quite, I'm sure you were on the other side watching and wondering, uh, when will you get your time? They almost talk down the clock. But I'm, I'm happy that you're here now. So I, I'm you. quite curious. And I'm trying to interface with, if I can, I'll talk with all the political parties. How are they preparing for the forthcoming local government elections? What's happening in your party? Do you have candidates for these elections? Are you confident that NCAC will pull this off? Because, you know, in, in the past we've interfaced on these things and you had your, your, had your reservations yeah. and doubts and, and I still about have my, I still, I still have my But I, is there a reduction in the doubts or has it increased? Well, before I talk about NSEC and Enugu, let me just, you know, lay a background generally. Good. The problem I find with our political system is that people want democracy and free and fair elections only when they're on the outside. And it is not, it is all the states, you know. If you, if you look at the local government elections in all the southeast states, there are three political parties managing the southeast, APC, Mm -hmm. Afga and uh, Labour, they it operate the same way. It is the same problem with the electoral bodies, 
It's the same problem with the governors. So the challenge we have is that the, the, the political class, they don't like, the political class don't want elections, particularly when they are not in power, or particularly when they are in power. It is only when they come out of power that they start talking about free and fair elections. When they are in power, they want to impose, they want to. So I, my doubts are even stronger about NSEC being able to conduct an election. And the reason is clear. Uh, Abga conducted the primaries to determine their candidates. And then wrote to NSEC to come and observe the primaries. On the day of the primaries, NSEC wrote and said uh, that they got a letter from the Edozi and Joko group that they were not coming again because they got a letter from the Edozi and Joko group that they no longer know which one was the authentic Abga. Which, which for me is playing funny. You know, this, one of the things that I find funny is the way that this Edozier and Joko thing has been approached. Now, before you get to a national chairman of a party, you do congresses in the world, in the local government, in the state, and then the national. In all these congresses, you elect officers. In all these, none of these congresses is being contested in any court in the land, anywhere. The only, the only uh, area that is in court is the national chairman. And that is, that is the one that has, over the years, every election period, it really is ugly head. Now, assuming without conceding that the court says the Edozie Njoko is national chairman, what should happen? Edozie Njoko should go and assume the national chairman position. There's no court that, that, yeah. that is talking about who is the Enugu so chairman. It, it shouldn't yeah. affect it shouldn't even, your it shouldn't internal even affairs here. So, ESSEC. Is, is, that's why I say NSEC is being funny. So for, on, on what basis will NSEC talk about who is the chairman of ABGA in Enugu? When ABGA conducted a congress in Enugu, supervised by INEC, if you want to know who that, that chairman of ABGA in Enugu is, you ask INEC. The national chairman of ABGA doesn't even have the right to remove uh, state chairman who came through a congress. It's not, it's not the national chairman's duty to change officers of the party. So, and that is why I said I'm really not, uh, I suspect that NSEC is not serious. You know? So, if they do that election without Abga, of course, as far as I'm concerned, there's so, no. So, so, as we speak, because they did not observe your mm. congresses, they, they have not identified with the candidates that emerged in those congresses. Is that what it is? They will, they, the Congress is held, they, they wrote them to come and observe so, it. So, so the, the, the candidates will be sent to them. So, now, when they bring out their list and it is not those candidates, then that is when they, you know, they want a problem with Abga. Okay, great. Mm. That's another leg to the conversation. Mm. The election was initially announced to take place on the 5th of October. Mm. And suddenly now, here there was a litigation, and then it's brought forward to 21st of September. Would you, uh, you, do you have any context on what led to that? Well, this second one, I, I really don't know why they brought it back. You know, because the first time it was supposed to be held in February. And then they said that they went to court. They went to court themselves because it's a case that, that, that nobody knew when it started and nobody knew when it ended. There was a judgment that said if they want to conduct a local government elections, they will use the INEC guideline. And the guideline says that you have to give a 360 day notice. They gave a 120 day notice according to the Alam uh, Enugu election no. guidelines. Okay. So they said, no, you should use uh, INEC guidelines. INEC guidelines says, this is days. Of course, it was because they were not ready for elections then. So the 360 days, they now moved it into October. Same court, not the same judge, but the same level of court, now says they should move it back to uh, September. I've been trying to get the, a copy of the judgment to understand why they are moving it back to. But I suspect, and that is my personal opinion, that it is linked to this new Supreme Court judgment that says, you know, they shouldn't, they shouldn't give money to those who don't contest local government elections mm -hmm. before a particular time. So they want to, you know, meet that uh, requirement to have another elections before October. That is my own personal. Uh, but, you know, for, for me, uh, what is interesting to me is that the first judgment says that you must use INEC guidelines, not NSEC guidelines. guidelines. What it means is that the elections will be conducted with the diverse. That, that is what it means to me, because that is part of the INEC guidelines. guidelines. 
Nothing shows me that there's an intention to conduct the elections in Nibas. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you ask me whether I am, I am, I am more optimistic. <laughs> Uh, I was more optimistic when they changed the former chairman of NSEC. I was. I was quite. I was quite happy, you know, because all the time they was chairman, there was really never an intention to conduct an election, and brought somebody new. But with all of these things that are happening, uh, I, 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 I'm not really worried because it is a nationwide thing. Nigerians, governors don't want local government elections, and the reasons are clear, you know. It, it happens in all the parties. It's not party specific. It happens in all the parties. So, so even if the elections are held, I'm sure that at the end of the day they will declare PDP winners in all the local governments and all the world. And that is how it has happened. Even while I was chairman, they declare PDP winners in all the local governments and the world. We go to court. Along the way, you know, the court does what it normally does. So, uh, do I believe that the elections will hold? A free and fair election we hold, where people are allowed to vote, I don't think so. You know, we'll, uh, by September 21st, 22nd, are we going to have local government chairmen, chairmen and councillors purportedly elected? I believe that will happen. So, but, but do you believe, uh, uh, Mr. Ndobisene Chaya, do you believe that maybe a party other than the PDP could win any of the seats in the 17 local government? Win as soon as people are allowed to vote. Yeah, is it not necessary to be optimistic? Well, optimism has to be based on something. I've been, I've, I was, I've got chairman for four years. I, I, I oversaw three local government elections. Both in what never happened in any of them. I've been in Abgas since 2010, participating in elections. There has never been any local government election where voting has happened. I will be very happy if it happens this time. I will be very, very happy if it happens this time. But, like I said, if we're going to use any guidelines, fair and good. What it means is that the voters will expect that divas will be used because that is part of the INEC guidelines. And the court has pronounced when they were making the ruling in February that they shouldn't use the NSA guidelines, they should use the INEC guidelines. Right. So I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to see. We are, we are waiting and we are watching. On, on what the election guidelines will be. Yes. All right. So let, let, let me ask you whether your candidates will go ahead and campaign when the ban is lifted, uh, when uh, September rolls in. So well, are, you going, are you going ironically, to campaign? Ironically, campaigns are supposed to hold from September 7th to September 19th. Yes. That is less than two weeks. Yeah, it's very <laughs> tight. And the, 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 the one wonders... Uh, whether that will allow the candidates an opportunity to actually meet the electorate. It won't, it won't. Obviously it won't. And that is why I told you that I, I really don't believe that a proper local government election will happen. Because you can't give people two weeks. If there are people who are running for local government chairman, you have 20 words. What it means is that you don't even have one day for each word. You don't even have one day to go to each word and campaign. So, so, um, for me, for me, I'm one of the advocates of a two-tier system because the politicians don't want this local government thing to work. I'm state and federal, you know? Let us stop deceiving ourselves. Voting money for local government elections that never happens. of the local yes. government. Yes, it never happens. It's not just in even Alhambra, where Abga is ruling. Abga, where Labour is ruling. It won't happen. It will happen the same way. So let's, 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 let's know that we have a federal and a state. And stop voting money for local government elections. You know, bringing people out to very difficult circumstances and environments. That is my own position. Mm. Because it has not worked. The politicians don't want it to work. You know what? We, we have run out of time. But mm. uh, WCNH China, I will invite you again mm. on the Eastern ISO. So we can have a, a, deep, conversation. a deeper conversation Please. on a um, wide range of national issues. Thank you very much. WCNH China is the former chairman of mm. the all Progressives Grand Alliance, Enugu State. Thank you for thank your you, perspectives. Thank you, thank you, Alex. That's thank the you. Eastern Eye for tonight. We'll be here again on Monday. Thank you for watching. Up next is Nka with Rochelle. Good night.